What makes a man leave his kingdom? To travel a day and a half by steam train, carriage, and on foot. To battle a giant that ruled the Florida shallows. William Halsey Wood couldn't have imagined that his adventure in the spring of 1885 would birth an entire industry. Halsey, as he was known, was a young, prominent New York architect in the late 1800s. He was fixated on his work, engrossed by his creations, devastated by their rejection. He was also a sportsman, fascinated by a creature he'd only read about, the tarpon, a dinosaur that has existed for a hundred million years. Here is a man obsessed with design, captivated by the most finely designed game fish of them all. And so, in March 1885, Halsey left New York for Southwest Florida. On that trip, Halsey became the first man ever recorded catching a tarpon on rod and reel. Mr. W.H. Wood of 89 West Street, New York, caught three tarpon, the largest weighing 250 pounds, the Fort Myers Press reported in April 1885. The story circulated in Florida, then the United States, then the world. In one day, with one five-foot bamboo rod, Halsey became a folk hero. A seed planted a century and a half ago is now an industry in full bloom. It's pretty cool how one fish can change the entire direction of history. When William Halsey Wood caught the first ever recorded tarpon on rod and reel, it kind of created this whole trend which really just evolved a lot of commercial fishermen to start being able to take out charters which led to hotels, travel destinations. I mean, on the west coast of Florida, there's a bunch of small towns that were just commercial fishing villages. And they slowly grew into specific towns just designed for fishermen. Here we are today. Our entire island thrives off of fishing. So the spot that we chose is a really large aggregation point for tarpon that move in right at sunset to stage up to get ready for the next day to start their migration patterns. When they first come in, they're just absolutely booking it. They're moving real fast, they're rolling super frequent on the surface because they're burning so much oxygen. And uh, you get this magic moment right as the sun sets where all the fish will just kind of slow down, settle in, and that's typically our best opportunity to get them to eat. Oh, oh my God, look at that. Holy crap. You know, it's crazy. I can't even imagine what these guys had to go through the first time they went to fight these fish. They were going out in canoes and paddling these little tiny boats and using bamboo rods, which have absolutely no backbone. I mean, it just blows my mind. Caught fish. Are you ready for the release? That's him. Here she comes. Oh! All fish absorb oxygen through their gills. Tarpon have adapted this air bladder. They come and take gulps of air. When you see them rolling, that's what they're doing. So when you're fighting, every time they come up and they grab air, 
It's like sticking them with an adrenaline needle. You have to fight them all over again. Good job. Oh my god. Oh, what an awesome fish. Oh, went through the leader. That was fun. Oh! You missed it. Oh, there he is! Ah! Oh, look at the plug! <laughs> yeah, tarpon gets people excited. Oh, there he is! Oh, he's gonna jump! Oh! <laughs> He's pissed. So many head shakes. Here he comes. Oh. Dude, this is so cool. I love this. Doesn't matter how many you catch. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> oh that was awesome. <laughs> Beautiful fish, right at sunset. Nothing you can ask for, look at that little bucket mouth. It truly is, just a silver king. All right, thank you, big girl. That's awesome. I mean, where in the world can you go? Slick, calm, absolutely gorgeous, golden glow. You got this fish that's just prehistoric. I mean, that, that tarpon right there was probably 12, 13 years old. Who knows? You know, they, they can get up to 65 years old and up to 300 pounds. I mean, it's just an unbelievable animal. That's the kind of fish that spawned an entire industry. Halsey died a young man at age 41. He left behind a few letters, a couple of photos, and little else. No memoir of his adventures, no kin to carry his legacy. Time has taken much of Halsey's story from us. So what makes a man leave his kingdom? Glory, adventure, obsession, we'll never know. What we know for certain is he inspired a million others to do the same.